Hello and welcome to episode 3 of my Zombie Army 4 Dead War playthrough. I am Stud Doogie. In this series I'm going through the campaign missions of Zombie Army 4 on hard difficulty soloing it but having the enemy scaled up to four players which means there are going to be a lot more zombies and uh, bosses will have a lot more health. In this video we're going to be undertaking the final um, the final chapter of the first mission. Um, since the last video, I gained a new perk slot, so I'm going to take a couple of seconds here uh, to select and add a new perk to the loadout. We're still going to be running Carl for this. I generally run Carl when there's a boss involved because of his ability to uh, take the best advantage of empty lung, and uh, he gets to do more overkill damage because he charges overkill faster than any other character. So I'm going to let some of the, uh, the speaking bit play out here. Or maybe not. I mean, you can read the subtitles if you want. I swear, none of the voice acting sounds legit, except for Carl. I think the, the player voice work is pretty good, but the non-playable the NPCs, I think their voice work is just kind of uh, cheesy, campy, whatever. Now I'm just being anal retentive there, because I'm sitting there trying to pick up the one grenade, but it's trying to force me to open the other crate, stomp on his ass. And this one is going to be a slide kill. That kind of looked like a sure you can from um, Street Fighter. So I've pulled out the pistol because the ammo crate right next to us is a pistol crate. So in this first engagement here, we're just going to utilize the pistol because we're going to get ammo for it. There are no ammo crates. <clears throat> until we go down into the tunnel and come up on the other side so we might as well take advantage of the fact that we got that pistol crate there by um, maining the pistol right now boom headshot I'm not much of a pistol fan. I need to maybe do a playthrough where it's just all pistol all the time because I do like that Red Dead Redemption type shooting. So I'm going to try to keep my score up by leaving one of these guys behind so as I enter the tunnel I can turn around and keep that combo meter going. Damn, it's dark down here. I can't believe Carl is uh concerned about the dark. But you know what? We all have our phobias. You're like there we go. So I was able to maintain that combo meter with that. You tell him, Carl. I'm actually going to do the um, heroic event in this one. The range in this thing is not fantastic but then that's to be expected given that it's a shotgun but as I'm looking back on it I'm realizing that the range really if it's not right in front of you you might as well use your pistol I hate shooting zombies on stairs because they move in like this jerky fashion and Headshots just go out the damn window. The 
That's some good shooting. Some of these misses, man. I mean, I call bullshit on the play, ref. Like that one. That was just complete and total bullshit. Can I get a hundred? Ninety-seven. It cracks me up that a hundred is pink. You know, like some designers, like, yeah, when you get to a hundred, let's go pink. Nothing wrong with pink, of course. Pink is a beautiful color. Not my favorite color, but whatevs. I'm not gonna complain. I'm trying to get some triple shots to make progress on my masterwork here, but. Not so much. Tell you, man, if it's not right on top of you, shotgun ain't doing shit, at least with the slug. He thought he had me. He, he really thought, like, I got this motherfucker right here. He's like, he wants to get his ammo. Screw that. I'm going to bite the shit out of his ass. But nobody, you got played. Because I can move faster than you. Which is one of the things I actually like about this game. That they, they really leaned into the whole slow zombie motif. You know, because in the zombie universe, you've got the slow versus the fast zombies. And um, by doing the four-player scaling... I'm able to just kind of, I gotta say, make it real. But zombies aren't real. But the whole idea that the real, the threat when you're dealing with slow zombies is that there's just so many of them. You know, so like the individual zombies themselves are not necessarily that threatening, but because of the the volume, just the freaking, you know, think about it. It's like seven billion people on the planet. If a zombie apocalypse really did happen, that's a shit ton of zombies. You know what I mean? So. I kind of like that vibe with the four player thing so it really does feel like there's a shit ton of them and the threat is not to get surrounded or the danger is to not to get surrounded you know if you remain calm and just keep your wits about you you can deal with the zombie apocalypse which is how I feel I would behave in a real uh, I'm saying using the word real again zombies aren't real but in a yeah, whatever let's call it real real zombie situation I remember, I can't remember the name of the movie when the first time I saw Fast Zombie in a, in a movie and they just came running out of this dude. I was like, shit, that's not supposed to happen. I thought I saw something. I did not. Zombies and trains, man. That seems to be a theme in this first chapter. The chasm of lava to swallow the tracks. I'm using the word chasm. How often do you get to use that word? I should have let him fall because there's a challenge to stomp. I think it's 15 of them or something. It feels like such a waste to put one of those attachments on a pistol. There it is. I should be stomping these dudes. Like my mind's not into it, but I also know a, a different part in the game where there'll be a whole lot of stomping. I love his bitch ass managed to get up after I stomped his head in, but maybe I didn't stomp his head in. That was not supposed to be a miss. Like I call bullshit on that player f. Trying to keep my combo going, but keep we'll see what happens. See? Bullshit on that one. Like, I feel like this combo... See? I'm about to spoil my own freaking combo thing.
Alright, I'm like dudes behind me. Try to get these guys to spawn. I know they take a little while to get up. Bullshit. Oh, I swear to God. But it's all good. Like, you know, the, getting a 500. I want to get a 500 without doing the... Um, that There's a mission the second ch in the second chapter. There's a mission where you have to defend these generators. And that's one of the ways you can get 666. Uh, but I'm trying to get it just kind of naturally. It's not really natural because you have to make the effort, but without doing that particular mission where you let the generator die and the zombies just keep spawning. As a matter of fact, I think they changed the behavior of the game because on the Rebellion YouTube channel, you know, they talk about it there, but it doesn't actually work because the zombies stop spawning after a while. Well, and they spawn back, which is weird. So they put like a delay, a gap. So it's not, it's not a constant spawn anymore. So you, if you want to get 666 on that level now, you got to make an effort. So this is bullshit. Like, why can't he mantle? I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like, you play the game long enough, you start finding these little inconsistencies that weren't apparent in your in the first or maybe second playthrough but become a thing I call bullshit on that one too cuz it wasn't like I was going for a headshot I was doing a body shot and I know my reticle was on the body Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I had one to see if I could knock him off. <laughs> Look at these two jag jagoffs. Trying to be cute. Like, who do you think you fooling? Rest in pieces, bitch. They're coming from the roof. That's a damn good question, Carl. Why are they coming from the roof? I was tempted to shoot that bird. Okay, so this is where the stomping happens. Just get all my aggression out. They think they have me, but they don't. I've got the hammer of justice on my side. Sometimes when you drop a heavy weapon, you can't pick it back up, which is really annoying. I don't know if it's because there's the override to stomp an enemy or something, why that happens. That feels kind of wasted on that low level jack off. I just don't believe this guy's British accent is legit. I think that's some asshole making up a fake British accent. Because I barely understood what the hell he said. Like, while playing the game, I had to read freaking subtitles to understand what he was saying. Alright, so just do some minor prep for this uh this final fight here which will include the boss 
um, which is an introduction of a new character. So I'll put that mine there in case I need to come back in here and any enemies spawn behind. But we're not going to be holed up in here doing the fight. That's a pretty cool looking model. That I am that hurts my soul. That mist hurts my freaking soul. So the game does bullshit to me, so I'm doing bullshit to the game. In reality, if a flame went through those bars or even heat up the bars, I'd still, you know, get hurt, but uh, I guess in the physics of this game, fire doesn't go through the space in metal. And this is why I love this gun. Fire rate over damage. Imagine every time I have to reload after five shots. That'd be so freaking annoying. Look how many shots it took. That's what happens when you have four players scaling. If it was one player, he'd be dead like two clips ago. So now the boss is dead. It's just a matter of uh, surviving the zombie horde. I don't know how that missed. I called bullshit on the play. I know what you're thinking, like, why didn't I take him down? Because of that. I had all the time in the world. Almost had me, didn't he? You doubted. Oh, he or ye of little faith. Oof. This is one for folks. That looked like it hurt. No, I'm not. I got other guns, baby. I really love the Carl voice work. Whoever that actor is, man. Yes, yes, Carl. We, now, this is one of those examples where you, I can't pick up the gun. Right? So I created a little space and now I'm trying to pick it up. I can't freaking pick it up. Get close. I love this beat. Dun 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 It's like you're just chilling, you know what I'm saying? You're just out with your boys, killing some zombies, just chilling. No need to fear, no need to worry. We're just chilling. Banana, banana, chilling. Banana, banana. I don't know how all that miss. All right. So that is the final chapter of the first mission. And um, we'll see the score here. And uh, I want to thank you for hanging out. And I will catch you in the next one.